Hello, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can sync your Shopify orders with your Clover point of sale. Cause of CSA connects your shops, restaurants, bars, retail stores to accounting, point of sale, ERP, CRM, and marketplaces. It's easy with eSync. Let's log into eSync and you'll notice a message you have not created any actions yet. Actions are the operations you would like eSync to perform. That's creating orders, that's creating customers, that's inventory sync, and creating products. Let's create an action. In this demonstration, we've already connected Shopify, already connected Clover. Let's continue. Now you'll notice a list of actions. The actions here are send orders, send customers, send simple products, standard items, send inventory levels for standard items, and find matching orders in Shopify and change the tag to eSync export it. For orders, there is a create customer action. An order cannot be created in your point of sale without a customer. There's also a send order action to send the order into your point of sale after the customer has been created. There's also an update Shopify tag with eSync exported. The tag will identify orders eSync has already downloaded and will ignore those orders for future downloads and will also prevent duplicate orders in your point of sale. Let's start with send customer. You can give it a friendly name or hit save. Now create the second action, which is orders. Clover, continue, now send orders, continue, now add our third action, which is updating the tag. Find matching orders in Shopify and tag orders as async exported. Save. Next you will want to configure your actions. Start with the first action, create customers. Click configure. You want to download the orders in a specific status. Open, paid, and unshipped. Hit save. Go back. And you can view your saved actions configuration here. Open, paid, and unshipped. Now, let's configure our orders action, open, paid, unshipped, hit saved, and follow instructions here at the question mark to locate your employee ID, your SKU information, so forth. I am going to use our example for our employee ID. Same here, create a SKU for shipping charges. We're going to call this shipping, our SKU is called shipping. And for online taxes, we're going to do tax. Tender ID. Your tender ID can be found by looking at this URL and insert my account details. Here's the example. I'm going to insert our example here. Now hit save. If I go back to dashboard, look at my action, you'll see your safe settings. Now our final action is for changing the, the tag in your Shopify order. Let's choose a date to filter on any orders that exist in the point of sale. Since we have not downloaded any orders, we can just choose today or go back 24 hours. I'm going to just go back 24 hours, hit save. Now back to dashboard, and when you want to create your task for orders, you can add your configured actions now. So add action, send customers first, then send order, and once a successful order is in your point of sale, find matching order and update the tag at Shopify. We have three actions here. Give the frail name, Shopify, orders, to Clover. Hit save. Now, if you view Shopify, you can see we have one order that's paid and unfulfilled. Let's go ahead and hit run async. Look at Shopify orders, hit refresh. Hit 
And you now see we have a new order for 159.53 that matches the order online. If we look at the Shopify order, we'll also notice a tag that was updated for eSync exported. eSync exported. That's it. If you have any questions, please contact us at cosmocentral.com with a K and start your free trial today. Thank you.